Welcome to an introduction to reflective practice. In these lectures, we will look at the place of reflective practice in teaching. For the teacher, this poses a very simple question. What is reflective practice? Reflective practice is an ongoing and dynamic process for the teacher. It involves thinking critically and deeply about what is happening in the classroom. It occurs spontaneously, immediately, but also occurs in a very planned and structured way. And most importantly, reflection leads to action. Teachers need to value reflection and evaluation of their own practice and their own professional role in the classroom. In addition, teachers' professional knowledge and understanding includes ways to reflect and ways to evaluate what is happening. This is part of the professional role of the teacher. There is one quality above all which is important for making a teacher a good teacher and this is the ability to reflect. It's the ability to reflect on what and why and how things are happening in the classroom. The ability to think about how we are working and most importantly it is the ability to adapt and change teaching in relation to what is happening in the classroom. Reflection is the key to successful teaching. Most teachers will spend time thinking about their students and thinking about what is happening in the classroom. But it's true to say that very often as teachers, we don't take that step further. We don't reflect on the actions and we don't think through the consequences of what has been going on in the classroom. What is the implication then of this for reflective practice. Teaching is a profession and as such in a professional setting reflection is very deliberate. It is also purposeful. There is a reason for it. It is structured and it links our understanding theory to practice and also includes deep learning not superficial learning. Reflective practice is aimed therefore at development. Becoming a reflective practitioner is becoming an excellent teacher. Let's look at a quote by a researcher into teaching. Jenny Moon says, Reflection is a form of mental processing that we use to fulfill a purpose or to achieve some anticipated outcome. It is applied to gain a better understanding of relatively complicated or unstructured ideas and is largely based on a reprocessing of knowledge, of understanding and possibly emotions that we already possess. What are the key words that we can take from this message? Mental processing. Reflection is structured, thoughtful. It is not superficial. Better understanding. We gain a clearer, thoughtful understanding of what is happening in the classroom. And reflection includes the teacher in the process of teaching. It changes words like, I don't feel confident, or I am bored, or I used to have lots of ideas, but now I don't have any ideas at all, into questions like, now I feel confident. I tried some new ideas, and actually they worked better. At the moment I'm improving my knowledge. Reflection changes the way the teacher works. 
Now we can see why reflective practice is important. And the teacher, the reflective practitioner, is a successful teacher.